Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Achak, Padash. Yahweh being there, Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists. Ba'ahe, in Hada, Sham name, Yahweh Shai, being the name of the living God and Son, meaning He delivers, He saves. Rachak, Radash, Holy Spirit, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Mills, and every well, peace and blessing to the elect. Shalom and above all. Back at it with another through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai. Lord Willing's video is edifying. And uh, I want to go into it through the spirit about not overstudying. Okay? You don't want to uh, overstudy in this truth, man. Because you don't want to get destroyed. All right? This is uh, Proverbs 25 and 16. It says, has, and when I say destroy, I'm saying destroy your, your flesh. Now, you know... We don't sow to the flesh. We try to sow to the spirit, of course, you know, and we try to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. But at the same time, unfortunately, we are in these fleshly bodies. So there's a certain form of maintenance that we need to keep within these fleshly bodies until we be changed. OK, in the kingdom, I'm sure we'll be able to study much, you know, but on this side, unfortunately, we can't because it's not good for us. Kind of like. You know, drinking wine is good for you, right? But you don't over drink too much or else you get sick. You get a hangover, you know, you might throw up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Eating food is good for your flesh. You're supposed to eat food, right? But if you eat too much, you, you'll get sick. You know, so it's the same thing with the scriptures. These fleshly vessels can only go so far when it comes to righteousness. You know, that's why we're longing to get new bodies. But, you know, while we're in the flesh, certain things we have to do to maintain the flesh so that we don't crash out, you know. So this is uh, Proverbs 25 and 16. It's, and, I, and I've actually experienced this. So this is Proverbs 25 and 16. It says, has thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee. Right. So one brother might be able to read 20 chapters a day. One brother might be able to read five chapters a day. One brother might only could read one chapter a day. You got to eat what's sufficient for you. That's why in this truth, that's another beautiful thing about this truth is that this truth teaches you a lot about your, your, your personal self and it gets you acquainted with who you are and what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. You see, so it says, eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Right. Okay. So you want to eat what's sufficient for you. Okay. You don't want to eat too much. You don't want to study too much. You don't want to read too much. You don't want to watch too much, too many lessons because you'll find yourself rejecting the scriptures, Be, not because you want to, but because you, your flesh is too weak. You know, when we, uh, tap into the spirit of the Lord, we enter into a whole different realm and on a whole different vibration. So, you know, this flesh is like fighting and resisting it. Because that's the way it's built. It's programmed to be that way. You know, I've had I've had times where I've literally studied so much that I just I remember one time. This is when I was new in the truth. I was studying with the brother uh, Malachi, brother Jim S. Nashville. We was just going over scriptures, you know, chopping it up on the phone and we was reading scriptures. And out of nowhere, I just randomly caught a cold sweat. You know, randomly caught a cold sweat. It was crazy. Like, I was feeling fine one second, and next second, I just randomly caught cold sweats. And I was like, damn, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I felt nauseous. I was like, I don't know what's going on. The, brother's the brother was like, you probably ate too much honey, you know? And the brother was like, you know, just, just balance out, you know? Go do something, balance out. And, and that's what it was. You know, we hung up the phone, saluted, hung up the phone. But that's how you know that this is real. This is exactly real, you know? It's literal. It's, it's literal, man. Okay, because that wasn't the only time that I felt that before. I felt that recently. You know what I'm saying? I felt that recently, and that's what kind of sparked my spirit to do a lesson on it. You know, but uh, as well, you know, I was talking to another brother about it, not overstudying, and then the spirit had it set up to where I'm like, you know what? I can make a lesson out of that. Because what happens is, you know, you, you, you tap into the spirit a lot and there's nothing wrong with tapping into the spirit. But when you tap into the spirit, quote unquote, too much, for lack of better words, you'll find yourself starting to loathe the scriptures, loathe, the, loathe, you know, watching a lesson or loathe doing a video or something like that. Because you're like, man, I don't have so many scriptures already. So your, your soul is pretty much spiritually full, you know, but that's why you got to be balanced in this truth, man. OK, Proverbs 25 and 27 says it is not good to eat much honey. So. 
it is not good to eat much honey so for men to search their own glory is not glory right point being what it is not good to eat much honey you know you can't eat too much honey in this thing you can't be over righteous all right you fi you figure out what your portion is and you do according to that because you don't want to get to the point where you reject the lord utterly you know, because you don't overstudy so much. Now you don't want to do anything spiritual at all. You ain't trying to pray. You ain't trying to read. You ain't trying to watch no lessons. You ain't trying to be in the spirit whatsoever because you don't overstudy too much. And you don't want that, you know, because doing that too much can take you out of the spirit. You know, and once you're out the spirit, it's really up to the Lord's mercy if you get it back. Of course, now it's the Lord's mercy if you even have it, to be honest. But, you know, I'm sure brothers understand where I'm coming from. Okay. So you want to find that perfect line of balance, that perfect line of not doing too much, but also not doing too little. Because <clears throat> that's another thing, too. You could not be studying enough, you know, and that could be another problem. But that's not really what this lesson is about. But that's the balance to it. All right. So you got to find what's good for you. And one thing that I know how I know if I'm eating too much honey is I could literally just feel my body starting to get like a little queasy if for, for lack of better words you know i can feel my body starting to get queasy and i'm like well i didn't eat nothing that usually upsets my stomach or something like that so what is it you know you gotta just peep in the spirit you know what i probably was eating too much honey you know i already watched a couple lessons i read a couple chapters i did a video you know what i'm saying let me chill you know and that's good because once you get once you get to that point where you know you 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 feel like you've studied enough Man, it feels great. It feels great balancing out because you don't feel condemned. You're like, well, I did what I had to do. So now if I want to go ahead and watch this movie or want to listen to some music, play some video games, work out, whatever, you feel good because you know that you handled your spiritual duties. Yeah, that's just, you know, this uh, Sirach Ecclesiastes 10 and 26 says, be not overwise in, thy do in, thy bu in doing thy business and boast not thyself in the time of thy distress. Right. Point being what? Be not overwise in doing that business, man. So you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to be overrighteous. You want to be balanced. Okay? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 2. It says, And further, by these my son be admonished. It says, Of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness to the flesh. Right? Much studying is weariness to the flesh. So your flesh, our flesh literally breaks down and gets wearied when we study too much, man. Okay, that's why a lot of times, sometimes you find yourself being up. You were awake a couple minutes ago, but the moment you started to pick up that scripture, pick up that sword, you randomly just got tired. You know, now that sleep demon on you. You know what I'm saying? Much studying is weariness to the flesh. And sometimes also you got to fight that because it could just be a test and a trial to see if you'll keep pushing forward. But sometimes, you know, you do got to take a rest. You know, it's all about figuring out what's profitable for you. OK. And going back to what I said earlier, so, so, you know, you don't want to get to the point where you end up loathing the scriptures and not wanting to be in the spirit at all because you don't study too much. You know, like they love to say, too much of anything is not good for you, <laughs> you know, but I can see that. I can see that even when it comes to the scriptures, as far as being within these fleshly bodies. I'm sure when we get changed, it's going to be a different story. I'm sure we're still going to be balanced, you know, in the kingdom. OK, but we're going to know that we're going to know our limits, so to speak, which we're going to be technically limitless. But, you know, it's going to be on a whole different vibration. OK, where we're not going to have to feel sick just because we decided to read 100 chapters. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm kind of being a little superfluous, but hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. You know, just trying to edify. OK, now it says Proverbs 27, starting at verse seven, it says the full soul loatheth in honeycomb, but to the hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. Right. So a full soul loatheth the honeycomb. You know what? When you full in these scriptures, you're going to loathe the scriptures. So you got to learn that balance. But when you're hungry, hey, even all the bitter precepts is sweet unto you, you know. Because, hey, you come up in this truth, you know, you learn this truth. It's like your soul is, is hungry because you weren't being fed that spiritual bread till you came into the knowledge. So once you come into the knowledge, your soul is hungry, man. You be eating everything. You know, you read the scriptures about destruction and that's sweet unto you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, but point being full soul loathed in honeycomb. So we want to make sure that 
we're not um, overstudying in this thing. OK, never want to overstudy in this uh, in this truth. You know, it is a marathon. OK, this truth is a marathon. It's not a sprint. This truth is about endurance, not how fast you can accomplish something. Now, sometimes certain things need to be done in, the, in a in a timely manner, you know, concerning the spirit. But, you know, for the most part, this truth is all about endurance. OK, surviving the day, winning the day, beating the old man throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Taking it day by day. Each day has its own troubles within this thing of ours. So you want to make sure that you're going hard to survive and to beat the day, you know, staying in the spirit. OK, and there's a there's a few scriptures too, proving how that the scriptures are likened unto honey, you know, and I want to go ahead and get some if the Lord allows just for edification's sake. This is uh first Samuel and this was literal. This happened literal, literal, but you can look at this spiritually, too. This is 1 Samuel 14 and 29. It says, Then said Jonathan, My father have troubled the land. See, I pray you how mine eyes have been enlightened because I tasted a little of this honey. <laughs> you know? Okay? You see? And that was literal. What happened was the story was Saul, he charged all Israel to go on a fast, you know, till, he, till they finished the war. But uh, Jonathan, he didn't hear that. He didn't hear that vow. So he ended up eating some honey and it says that his eyes were enlightened. OK, first Samuel 14 and 27, it says, but Jonathan heard not when his father charged the people with the oath. Wherefore, he put forth the end of the rod that was in his hand and dipped it in a honeycomb and put his hand to his mouth and his eyes were enlightened. You see. So you can look at that spiritually with this truth. You know, it was it happened literal, but that's also spiritual too. Because once we put our hand to our, to the to the Lord's honeycomb, our eyes get enlightened, and we have that spiritual eye salve now that we can see because we're ingesting the word, we're digesting the word. So now, you know, we're receiving it, and we can see things through the spirit. Okay, so that's just a little something right there. But then you got also uh, precepts too that go into how this word is likened unto honey. OK, I got a little list here. It's Psalms 119 and 10, Psalms 119, 103, Proverbs 16, 24, Proverbs 24, 13, Songs of Solomon 4 and 11, Revelation 10, 9 through 10 and Sirach 24 and 20. OK, those are all different precepts that help prove that the scriptures are likened unto honey. Because the scriptures have its sweet things and it has its bitter things, you know, and the scriptures speak about what is sweeter than honey. Or it's honey is the chief of the sweet things. Okay. And honey is actually very healthy for you. I'm talking about literal honey. Honey is actually very, very healthy for you. It could be very helpful, healthy for you. It's, it's used in a lot of natural remedies. Okay. And it also helps uh, with the process of decalcifying your pineal gland. If you need a sweetener substitute, use honey for a sweetener substitute. You know, honey is also good for your, for your face too. You could use honey to uh, wash your face, okay? It has a lot of benefits, kind of like the scriptures. The scripture, not kind of like, well, like the scriptures, because the scriptures is very helpful and very healthy for us, you know? And, and, it'll, and the scriptures heals us more than honey ever can, okay? This is uh, Psalms 19 and 10, it says, it's not at verse nine, it's Psalms 19 and nine, it says, the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. That's right. That's right. That's talking about these words, man. So, hey, Lord willing, um, this video was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemel Shai, about Shemel Kagodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, great milson, that we will. Peace to the to the elect. Shalom and above all.